Not again. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, in today's video, we are going to take a look at Ticket Symbol PLTR Palantir. So, this is a company that we did a review here on the channel when they were going public, uh, when the IPO was going out. So, we profiled that uh, here on the channel. So, if you haven't already, I'm going to hook up that video here so you can definitely go check it up. So, since then, the company has um, actually been doing pretty good. Uh, the price has actually gone up uh, quite a bit from when their IPO first came out, which was somewhere around $10. And then there was some, you know, it came out and then pulled back to $9. And then ever since then, it's gone up um, close to about $30 in price. But um, just this week, we got some news again from short seller research company Citron that. Uh, no, Palantir. Basically, they called Palantir a full casino, which I don't quite understand why they would do that. But if you notice, like uh, Citroen has had a history of um, attacking uh, companies. So they did it with Tesla back in 2018, did it with uh, Neo just recently, as of last month, um, did it now with uh, Palantir. So uh, the question is, uh, is Palantir really a full house uh, casino? I'm going to give you guys my personal take and then we'll take a look and see what the future is. And I'll give you my, my price projection for uh, Palantir moving forward. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So for those of you that are new to Palantir, so Palantir basically is a company that provides um, software that helps company um, analyze their data and, and give them insight into the data so they can make better decisions. So I, again, like I said, I did a video about the details of this company. Uh, which I'm gonna hook up here so that you guys can definitely go check it out. So it, it's a great company. The, the business model to me is excellent. Uh, you know, B2B providing software to help companies analyze complex data. Imagine that in 2020, which companies are generating more data than ever before to be able to harness the power of that data, uh, get insight to help companies make decisions. They, they are required to hire very sophisticated data engineers and people don't want to do that. So they, Palantir comes in and provide them the software that's ready. All you have to do is plug in your data and it will give you the insight that you need. So this, they are sitting in a very uh, unique uh, space. But the, the fact that Citron is going after them and calling them kind of like a, you know, a full casino, I don't understand because this is not a company that is, let's say, they just have an idea. They have a workable product. They have a list of customers that they are currently uh, working with. They do business with, uh, you know, private sector as well as the government sector. They do business with uh, the U.S. Uh, Army Research Lab, which they actually just recently signed a two-year contract of $91 million with uh, the U.S. Army Research Lab. And also another aerospace company company that just recently signed um, a, a $300 million contract with Palantir. So when you look at those companies that are trusting them and using their services and they're, they're, they're doing great, I don't think that they would be uh, what you know Citron would call uh, a, a full casino. Again, they probably have their reasons for calling them a full casino, but I'm looking again from the business model and I'm looking at the history of the company. Before they actually went public, the company has been profitable. Revenue has been growing year over year. Even as of uh, 2020, their revenue has actually gone up. And even with COVID, they're still being able to secure $300 million contracts. Uh, I'm anticipating that when things get back to normal and company starts to function, this company is gonna get back on track. If right now they're doing pretty good. And if you see right here, uh, when the company, when we first profiled this um, on the channel a few months back, look at the stock was somewhere around ten dollars. If you go three months back, it was somewhere around. It, it pulled down all the way to nine dollars back in uh, October second, and ever since then the stock has just gradually uh, been going up till the point where um, as of uh, this week it actually hit thirty three dollars for for a high. So. And then Citron came out, so $33 for a high before Citron came out with this um, hit job again. Uh, and we know Citron is really good at doing this and going after companies. So uh, I'm not really 
uh, you know, taking a bat with this. I, I think Citroen people, they want to make money. Again, this is the news. People, they want to make money. So they are short sellers. If you know uh, the Citroen uh, research company, they're short sellers. They go after companies because they want to drive the price down and make profit. So I'm anticipating they drive the price down, they, they shut the, the, the stock, make profit, and then when it, it drops, they buy it and then ride it back up. So that's how these guys operate. So I, I'm not really gonna take them face value in this in this particular case. So, but again, uh, my projection for Palantir in, in the long run, it's gonna be a good company, a good stock to invest in, but you have to be patient with Palantir. Um, I have two major concerns that uh, really I can think about here. The first one is that Palantir is a B2B company. And if you understand business very well, you notice that B2B to acquire customers is not very easy. It takes maybe one, two, three years sometimes to pursue and actually acquire a customer. But, but once you acquire that customer, the revenue from that one customer could be millions and millions of dollars. So you have to be patient with them and, and give them time to grow. Uh, the second one that I see, second reason I see again is that their, their business model, I've seen people complain about them uh, online, talking about the fact that they provide softwares to organizations that um, go after people. So case in point was the fact that their software was used by the U.S., um, I think the U.S. Immigration Service, and people said, hey, you're using that um, to go after immigrants and, and track them down, and the people didn't, some people don't like that. But the, the CEO was very, very adamant about this. He came out and categorically said, if you have an issue with us providing our software to these organizations, then you're not our customer. We don't want you as a customer. So, I mean, he was straight up because some companies would just cave in, but the fact that he came out and said that, to me, that tells me that this is somebody that he has his conviction and he sticks with the conviction. So I kind of like that. So again, I'm, I'm, my price projection for, for Palantir is that um, this pullback is not gonna last. Palantir is maybe in the next year or two, you're looking close to 80 to $100 um, uh, price target to me because of, again, the fact that they have this uniqueness in this space where they provide uh, a software that helps company bring out um, inside of the data. So I really, really like that. If you're not in Palencia right now, I'll say look at this pullback again with the news from uh, Citron. It's a great opportunity to jump right in and pick up some shares. And again, guys, always do your homework. Make sure you understand the companies that you invest in. Don't just invest because somebody said, oh, this is a great company. Do some research. Make sure you understand what that company does before you actually jump in um, and start invest investing your money in the company. And also, if you are looking to get started with investing, guys, uh, Weibo is currently doing a promotion where if you sign up, you get uh, free stocks. You, you get a free stock, I get a free stock, and that's what helps me to keep this going. So if you are looking to like start investing, check the links in the description below and definitely um, use my affiliate link because that really does help me uh, continue to make content. And as always, don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated.